All right, you guys. So I have been working hard on trying to get um, the projects done and set for you so then we can finish them up. So that's what I'm going to kind of show you right now. Now, there's another video in there that's going to say um, kind of tips and tricks. So look at that one, too, if you're looking at things. So with this one, remember, I score slip meld all of them down, okay, went through you know, you want to clean up everything so it looks good when you're done. You want to be happy with what you have. So that might take a little putzing once they're all there, making sure that all the parts are down good. Um, you cleaned up any slip or anything else in between them. So just take that few minutes to make sure you go do that so you've got the best looking project you can. There I can see I cracked a little bit, so let's meld that. Keep that one going on stronger. Okay, might mean taking a little sponge, smoothing out, blending out edges, getting into there, those tiny spots, all right? So once then they're kind of there and setting up close to leather hard, we want to add the foot, okay? So you can decide, you know, what you want for yours. Being this one was kind of a snowflake pattern, I decided that I'll go with little round balls so they look like maybe little snowballs. On your feet, when you add them to something, make sure you're keeping it out wide. If you go too small, too close to the center, your bowl's gonna wobble when you put it down, okay? And I do have an example here of a wobbler. So if we set this one down, you're gonna see that it wasn't supportive enough, okay? It actually has a foot as a foot, but it's too narrow for this bowl, so that's why it wobbles. All right. So from that, it doesn't take too many steps. You will need your fork for scoring or a little tool. So I figure out about where I want them. So since I'm doing three, of course, you want to kind of put them out into thirds. So look at the top, make sure that they look even. So then when your bowl comes off, it's going to be even. So now I'll just kind of lift one up at a time, scoring there. I have slip on my fork right away, so I'm kind of taking care of that all in one. I'm going to get them all down first, then I'll come back, meld them in, make sure they're going to stay there. Okay, getting it there, there, okay. And then with your tool, which I say I don't have one, um, again, just going in, grabbing some of that foot, and blending it in to the rest. Now, your bowls, you do not want them to dry out on the molds or they are gonna crack. Clay shrinks when it dries, so you've gotta watch the timing of this now, okay? If you take it off when it's too wet, it's just gonna slump and fall apart. So you've gotta get good timing on this. The part that is going to kind of fall apart the first is going to be down here by the foot. So what you can do is, if everything else seems dry, is take a hair dryer to this part right in there. So I think I grabbed one. So just a simple hair dryer, blow drying it, let it set up a little bit to get a little bit drier. All right. For the big one over here. I put like a lace doily over this for texture, as you can see kind of all the way around. So I did the same with the foot. So I just made a fat coil and I am gonna break this off into sections, okay? So about thirds, I think. All right, and then I am gonna add these to the bottom here. And I'm gonna do thirds again with this one. So I am going to check that, that I am about centered. So I kind of look from different points of view to make sure it's going to look good. And then quite simply, same thing you just did, score slip and then meld that foot down. You can even curve those a little bit, which I decided I think I'm going to do. So a little bit in there. And it's just going to add some dimension to your project, raising it up, giving it um, just kind of another kind of cool look to it, something we haven't done yet. Okay, so getting them down. 
I'm not going to mess too much with the outside faces of them. So you can kind of see that because they have that design on it. But the inside here, I'm going to come make sure I'm going to meld it down that these aren't going anywhere. Okay. And then just check that my ends are smooth from where I cut because rough edges like that when fired turn out to be pretty sharp. So you always kind of want to round and smooth that out. So either with the sponge or just a wall of water on your finger. Okay, so then for both of them, if they are leather hard, okay, what you're going to do is take the bowl out first. And that's kind of a big wide one, so a little lopsided, okay? And then from there, kind of turn it or just start peeling that plastic away from it, all right? So then what we're looking for is that this is going to stand on its own. Same thing if your foot needs a little time to set up, do that before you take it off. Now you gotta come through, look at your inside, look at your top edge, what can you do to make that look a little better? So I'm gonna go with the sponge and just smooth out, fill in a little bit of areas that maybe had some gaps there. Make sure my edge, again, is going to be rounded. So by between the time that you're kind of doing your decoration before you're adding your foot, you might need to let it just sit out a little bit, get a little bit of air time, but don't leave it out overnight because again, if it gets too dry, it's going to crack on that mold, okay? It has nowhere to go, so it's going to crack. It can't shrink in, all right? So I kind of got all the way around. Now when you're doing the cleanup here, there too, you can't get this too wet again, or it's just gonna go right back to falling apart on you. I can use the rib, okay? You can use little bits of clay. Like I have a little dent right there, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of clay, fill it in, I'm supporting the back side because I don't wanna break it, and fill that in. And you can do that with any divots you have. Just take a little bit of clay, fill it in, okay? Go back with your sponge, and you should be able to get everything looking really nice, okay? So there is that one, the great foot, great texture on it, kind of a fun different edge to it. It's kind of a nice wide open platter. And then with this one, we do the same, flip it, take the bowl out, peel the plastic away, okay? And then start smoothing out and getting that to look better as well. Remember we did kind of a little snowball-y foot and then that one's setting up like that too. So it's kind of hard to see that profile view. Try to show it on this one, how that raises it up, makes it look really nice.